Google's Bard has just made some pretty significant updates that seem to have been a long time coming, but maybe the likes of Claude 2 coming out. Claude, Claude, yeah, Claude. And ChatGPT constantly innovating has made them hurry up. Um, so here's the new interface for Google's Bard. We've now got this left hand side bar, which looks a little bit familiar with chat gpt down the left hand side there we've got all of our chats and we can see them all once we've started uh, making them so that's the first thing they've done then we've got a little uh, upload file link down the bottom but don't get too excited i'm so excited because unfortunately it's not any file at this point we can't upload pdfs and everything else but we can upload these three, JPEGs, PNGs, and WebPs. So basically images. And we're going to have a little play and try and see if we can uh, use these new features and how good they are in this video. So the first thing is uh, other good news. You can now have it in over 40 languages, which is pretty impressive. Kesselstadt in Trier, Kara Himmelreich. And it's released in 230 countries. So it's really, really widespread now. A lot more countries in Europe and also I believe Brazil has it now as well. So that's really good. So they're really trying to broaden it out and make sure everyone gets access. So let's put in this first prompt right here and let's see how it does so my prompt is can you give me five benefits of using google bard for small businesses uh, owners and marketers so there we are and there's the five benefits improved customer service increased sales enhanced website content but here's the new little button that we have now at the top right which is the little listen to this response button. So let's give it a try and see how good it is. Sure, here are five benefits of using Google Bard for small business owners and marketers. One, improved customer service. Google Bard can be used to automate customer service tasks, such as answering frequently asked questions, providing product recommendations, and resolving customer issues. Not bad, not bad at all. That's not too bad. It's not the best AI voice I've ever heard. I think that's probably from Eleven Labs, but it's it's pretty good. And it just, you know, gives you a chance to listen to it. And maybe you're busy doing something else and you just want to listen to that uh, response rather than have to read through it all. It could be a really useful feature. So I quite like that. Now, you can do that with ChatGPT as well with um, an extension. There's a Google Chrome extension that will allow you to uh, listen to uh, all of the responses from ChatGPT as well. Uh, now, another little feature they've added is this, share and export. So you can draft this straight into an email if you wanted with Gmail, or you can export it to Google Docs, which I really like. And then we've got this other little feature here that's been added. Now, I wish they would give this to you before you actually put the prompt in, but you can modify the response by making it shorter, longer, simpler, more casual or more professional. But I would really prefer to have been able to do that before I actually got the content instead of afterwards. But OK, let's just say that we want to make it longer. What will it do now? Hopefully it will make it bigger than the last one. And the thing is with Bard is you never know when it's going to come because it doesn't type it out. It just goes bang. There you go. There's your content. But yeah, it looks like it has done that. It has made it a bigger response. So that worked. And then we can, you know, again, uh, change it over to be more casual. We'll try that as well. See if that works. So they're making some improvements here. I see as well, if you want to, you can pin a chat and then rename it as well. But we'll just pin it there. So that's quite handy, isn't it? If you've got a, a chat um, that you want to go back to fairly frequently at the moment, I've got to admit with ChatGPT, they could do so much better with this. You know, I mean, where's the search facility? A simple search facility. The lump of God. <laughs> for us to be able to search for a relevant chat. Now, if you're me, you've got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of chats. And to be honest with you, I may as well delete them because I hardly ever go back because finding the right chat is a mission. Um, so I'm really surprised that such a big company with so much money and expertise 
can't just put a tiny weeny little search facility in for a chat. But at least with, um, you know, Google's uh, Bard, you can now pin a chat. I can't even see a search facility here either. So it's not just uh, ChatGPT that, uh, you know, hasn't um, done it. It's also Bard too, but at least they've given us this pin thing. Now, the other thing that you may have noticed just down the bottom left here is this fancy pl uh, plus icon for uploading a file. But don't get too excited because sadly it's not any file. We're not talking PDFs, CSVs and stuff like we can do with Code Interpreter on ChatGPT, but we are talking images at least. So JPEGs, PNGs and Web P's, all types of image. And you can enter them in here. If I just go and upload one, let me see if I can grab one off my desktop. I've got this one here. And there it is. It's an image of a, a woman wearing some trainers or sneakers for my American friends. That's what we call them, trainers. And they're called sneakers. And you can do all sorts of things with it, like ask it to identify what's in the picture, apparently. So I haven't tried this picture, so I'm going in blind here, but I'll give it a whirl for you. Let's try it. Can you tell me what's in the attached picture? And also, what color are they? And let's see, there it is. There's the image, which was just a JPEG, I think. It's having a little think about it. And let's have a look. Sure, the image shows a person wearing a pair of, wow, Hoka Men's Araha, Arahi 6 running shoes. That's pretty impressive. The shoes are blue and yellow. The Hoka logo is visible on the side of the shoes. The person is wearing the shoes on a treadmill. That's not true. Um, do you have any further questions about the image? So they're not also, or are they men? So I might have, I might be, yes, I was wrong. I can see, I can see seriously hairy legs. So actually it, it is a man and therefore they are a men's um, arahi six running shoes. So it got that right. It just didn't get the treadmill right. But I suppose it's sort of seen this very flat background here, this or this surface, and then assumed that that's a treadmill. But that's a big assumption from that image. Um, so it says also, do you have any other questions about the image? So I'm going to ask it something right now, see if we can do some things that you can do with Code Interpreter on ChatGPT with it. Can you increase the size of that image by 40%? Here we go. You're supposed to be able to do a few different things, but oh, unfortunately, I cannot increase the size of the image by 40%. I am a large language model, yada, yada, yada. Uh, it says, uh, I do not have the ability to edit or manipulate images. Oh, well, that's interesting. Um, very interesting. I'm just going to ask it to do something else. Can you crop the image to be 16 by 9? Now let's see if it will do that as well. I did I did cheat a little bit and uh, ask earlier, what can you do with images? And it told me a whole bunch of things. And it turns out that absolutely none of them are true. So uh, that's a bit disappointing, but never mind. Well, at least it can recognize what's in the image, which uh, I don't know. That's probably got a limited amount of usefulness, really. I'm sure there's a I'm sure there's a case somewhere along the lines where that would be useful. But to be honest with you, it's just a bit of a trick, I suppose, at the moment. I can't really see how else we're going to use that um, to do something useful with it. By the way, if you are into uh, ChatGPT, Bard, large language models, AI, the whole lot, then you need to check out my group because it's completely free and you can come and join over $6,000, um, all just talking all about uh, ChatGPT, AI, prompting, prompt engineering, uh, just about everything that you're probably really interested in. There's a link underneath the video. You can just go and join there right now for free and uh, get stuck in and introduce yourself. There's some amazing people in here Quite a few gurus in here as well, actually. You might see a fair fair few uh, familiar names. So uh, that's all I'll say about that. So that is the update there for Google Bard. Uh, again, a little bit underwhelming, if I'm honest with you. But, 
you know, it's, 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 well, hopefully they're just going to keep improving it, but there's still nothing that's blown me away about Google Bard. There really isn't. Um, whereas ChatGPT just keeps throwing out some incredible things like the plugin store and obviously code interpreter now as well, which is incredible. And there's another video on my channel about code interpreter and all of the cool things that you can do with it. Well, some of them, because to be honest, there's hundreds and hundreds of things you can do with it. But uh, feel free to check that uh, video out as well. I might put it after this one so you can watch it. And that's it for this video. If you found it interesting or useful, please do like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you again real soon.